I'm going out back, out back to Australia. I'm going out back, out back to Australia. See you there. G'day everyone, it's Roy at Sunland Caravans. Look, one of the questions that we get asked a lot, uh, and we have a lot of conversations about, is seating. And basically there are really six seating variations that, that are referred to a lot. There's the one that we get a lot of people asking about is um, L-shaped lounge, which is the one I'm going to show you now. And this particular design has some pros and some cons. So let's talk about the pros and cons of L-shaped lounges. First off, I think one of the pros is definitely that there's no wall here. So getting around the bed is actually infinitely easier. There's lots of room for your bottom or whatever to be able to get around this. That's, that's a definite plus for the L-shaped lounge. Um, from there in, unfortunately, I, I start to go backwards on, on my liking of, of an L-shaped lounge. It's deceiving, but this looks like a seat that would actually handle four people. But the reality is it can actually only handle three people. So moving away from the awkwardness of this table for a minute, but just so I can make this a little easier to show you. If I'm sitting here, the next person has to be sitting there because otherwise our legs are going to hit, which really means at best you'll only get three people in here. And I would argue comfortably only really two people. When I turn around and sit this way, really don't have a great deal of leg support and it means that the other person can't sit with their feet up. So of course there is the other option and that is I could sit this way with my legs up here and that's a really good position for me. Got my feet right up here. Ugh. Needs to lose a bit more weight again. Got my feet right up here and this is nice and comfortable but um, bugger anybody else because there's no room for anyone else and if I'm happy to watch TV from this position I'm really having to twist my body around to look at where the TV's located. All in all I actually personally don't see a lot of benefits to this design. Now I guess there is one here that this particular one has been designed to be a bed seat conversion hence the fact it's got this Tommy table on it that can go down and we can now create a small double bed, certainly big enough for a couple of kids. So a couple of advantages, can convert into a bed, um, has got more room to walk around there, but from there I, I don't see any other real advantages on the L-shaped lounge. So tell you what, the other one is also that's very popular is in fact the um, club lounge and the club lounge is basically just a another end on this seat here and effectively does exactly the same thing you might be able to get two people with some sort of support down here a table that's constantly in the way um, aside from that again not really seeing a lot of benefits in the club lounge either so that's two of the designs, Club Lounge, L-shaped lounge. Now, I think a slightly better variation of this one actually would be to just simply go for a bench seat. That is, you don't have this piece here at all. You simply have a bench that goes from there to there and you could sit four people. One, two, three, four people. Very easy on that bench seat. None of them would be able to put their feet up unless, of course, we put little puffs or whatever down here stools or whatever for them to put the feet up. Basically, again, got a lot of limitations. Then of course we could go for um, another design which is to put armchairs in. Now armchairs really don't work very well because they're not providing you with the ability to use a table. So if you're used to eating on your lap with a bowl that might work for you but you know if you wanted to eat steak and cut it up you really need a table to do it. Armchairs weren't designed to go with tables. So there's gonna be a difference in the table height requirement for normal use versus for eating and to go with an armchair. It gets quite awkward. Now, I know there are people out there with armchairs and generally speaking, those who've got them love them. 
I know there are people with L-shaped lounges and generally those people that got them love them and bench seats and those people love them. I'm just trying to give you a balanced view of the pros and cons of all the various different seating types. So, you know, we've covered really four types there. Um, I'm going to show you another couple too. So we're going to move from this van. I'm going to show you the cafe dinette. So here we are in this beautiful Phoenix, ready to go out. And this has got the cafe dinette in it. Now, thinking about the pros and cons of the other ones, let me give you the pros and cons of this one. The first pro is that I can sit here and put my feet back and I've got a reasonable length and whoever's with me can do exactly the same. So two people can actually get their feet up. The next pro is that the table sits back and I can pull that out in this trifold configuration and actually move sideways. Hang on. I can also take this out, toss that over there somewhere, and I've actually now got room for four people to comfortably sit at the dining table. That, that to me is a big pro play cards, have a drink, whatever you're doing. What else? Well, interestingly enough, it's got a couple more advantages. This table can be made so it becomes a bed seat conversion as well. So this can actually, like the other one, this one can come down and go in there and create yet another table. So what are the cons? Well, it is a little harder to get between this and the bed. That space, because you've got this big bolster here, that space is heavily reduced. It doesn't matter at the foot end where your feet are, it's, again, where your hips and your bottom is, getting through there, you know? It's just, it's a little bit tighter. So, look, this is a really good design. Massive window flexibility, tables, backrests, um, it's a very, very good design. There is one other, so I'm leaving that one to last. This was a design that we came up with to try and accommodate all the things that people wanted, but again, pros and cons. So let's go and have a look at this last design, and that's the last one on my list. Here we are to have a look at the last one. So some of you may have seen this before, but this was a design that we came up with a number of years ago. The plan was to eliminate people wanting those um, armchairs and caravans. So we wanted to create something that will give the ability to have the advantage of the armchair without the disadvantage. And remember that this advantage is always the table. So the first advantage over an armchair is I can actually sit here and I've got a table. And that's because I've removed this section here. The next advantage is I've still got an armchair experience where I can sit here and put my feet up. The next advantage is that that area on that side between the bed and the seat, like you saw with the L-shaped lounge, it's low, so getting around the bed becomes a lot easier. Now, they're the, the pros. So what are the cons? Well, the cons are, I can't have a big window here. In fact, in this design, I can only have a very small window because this is taken up space that would otherwise be utilized by the window. I guess this is another pro is that I can have all my power boards right where I want them, somewhere to put things. That's quite a nice little cubby. Another pro is that I can maneuver these around to create the headrest and the lumbar support. Another pro is that actually I can put a footrest on this electric one to actually get exactly the right length. And because the added width, you know, all I've got to do, and it's probably easier to show you on this one here, is if I remove this part here, and this just comes on and off, I can actually turn that around so that gives me an arm support or a lumbar support, or if I want extra width, I turn around that way, it gives me more width that way. And actually, this cushion comes out quite easily, 
and that actually makes for a, a small child's bed. So you can actually get two children's beds out of that. So there's a lot of good things within this design. Another pro, if you've gone for Evo Stone, we can't use Evo Stone on any movable table. So you can't have the Evo, you can't have the, t if you've got Evo Stone in your galley, you can't match that up with the table because Evo Stone doesn't lend itself to uh, being screwed for hinges and so forth. So it's a very fixed thing and has to be solidly fitted. With this design, we can put the Evo Stone. It's a three quarter length table. That can be made of Evo Stone the same as your um, galley. So there's a lot of benefits on this design as well. So what's in is we've got them side by side. Let me just take you back to the cafe dinette. The reason I'm taking you back to this is because when it's all said and done, whilst that last seat design was designed by myself, this is still my favorite. I think the cafe dinette goes a long way to be improved upon. Um, it's just a modernization of an old design. You got more storage underneath the seats as well in this. Look, I hope that helps take you down the right track of deciding what type of seating you want in your new caravan. And um, we'll see you for the next one. Ciao for now.